Hi, Mr. Paul again, and I'm just going to give you a guide on how Google Classrooms will work. This is particular to my class, but most classes should work similarly. So when pupils have clicked through Glow, they will come to this page here. This is called the Stream, and this is where teachers are going to be checking in with pupils each day. So here I am just checking in, and pupils here can comment to see how they are. Um, so when pupils come in, ideally every day, they'll come here and then if they look at classwork, uh, they'll be able to check what work is due. Now there is this little tab here that says upcoming woohoo, no work due in soon, but that's only if we set a deadline to it. And obviously with pupils working from home, we need to be flexible on when work is due. So pupils, even if this says there's no work, they need to come up to classwork here and to check. So as you can see, this is the work that's due to be done. Uh, it's split by subject. There's only numeracy here at the moment, but we will be adding more. So all we need to do is to click on the little circle that's coloured in and come down here to view assignment. So here we are. Please read the instructions and then complete the calculation. So first off, we'll go into instructions. So here we are. Here'll be some instructions, maybe some teaching uh, tips and maybe some web links and we try and split our work into different levels and the pupils can tackle whichever level they think will give them a suitable challenge. So this may link to something like Education City, Some Dog, Study Ladder, whichever. Now this is opened up, if you look up here in a new tab, so we can switch back to this one and it said can you complete the calculations after you have read the instructions so we can just flip between the two as much as we like. So let's try the extra spicy. These are here. So these are the kind of calculations. This is just an example. Uh, we can always come back here and then what you need to do is to add a piece of work. Let's just ignore those for the moment. What you need to do is your work, add or create. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new duck. Now this is exactly the same as Microsoft Word, pretty much. So we're going to create a document to access. Now I'm just going to whoop, always allow a pop-up. Here we go. So again, this is opened up in a new tab. Again, we've got the same kind of things. File, edit, view, insert as Microsoft Word. So we might just say, let's come back to here. Uh, let's open up our questions. So 4 plus 5 plus what equals 20? Well, that's going to be number 1. That's going to be 11. Number 2, we just flip back to our picture. 5 plus 2 is 7 plus what is 20? That is 13. And then all we need to do is we can turn it in using this button. But I'm not going to do that just now because there may be another way that you need to submit some work. Now, Google Docs will open up online, so ideally in any device you're using, a phone, a tablet, a laptop, a desktop, you don't need to download anything, it's all held online. However, if you're finding that a bit tricky, especially if you're using a mobile phone, what you can do is always to write out the calculations, the answers, writing, whichever piece of learning, whichever piece of work you're being asked to do, take a photograph and upload it. So I'll just show you this way now, again, add or create, if we do a file, and if you see here it's upload. So all I need to do is select files from my device. So if I've taken a shot with my camera on my phone, we can just add that, upload. So if you're finding that Google Docs isn't working on your device, then you can just do the old fashioned, write out on a piece of paper, take a photograph and upload, and then all I'm going to do is hand it in. There we are. So you